Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the first and very, very, very first exciting episode. I think it's first twice. <laughs> anyway, of the lunch table featuring your boy Dapper Dan. To my left, we have my guy Reem. To hear across from him, we got my guy Fritz, which you might recognize from the Not Gonna Lie podcast. And we got to my right. We got Ray. I'm going oh, by go, Ray. We're going by Ray. Go Niggas say I could change my name, but I'm gonna go by Ray because that's what my moms and pops called me. Boo. But add me on IG, man. TH3 His Movie mama named Guy. Clay. I know all the recommendations for the movies and shows, man. Boo. That's how right, niggas right, knew. Before me. we get into it, I let them know what what your name was supposed to be. The initial name. Oh, supposing my name was supposed to be Raekwon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, imagine that. Raekwon. Y'all niggas was be calling me Raw. Nah, we was calling you Ray, bro. I was gonna call him Ray regardless. I think he was still gonna be I Ray call, regardless. I was calling you Hey, yo. Yo, what's good, though, yo? I do a quality high school. You hey, too. man, now we here, man. What's good, yo? Happy New Year to all my happy brothers for me. Yo, happy New nice, Year. Happy yeah, New this is my first time seeing y'all in the New Year. <laughs> what y'all niggas did? We ain't did. I ain't do a goddamn You stayed in the crib? Yeah, yeah I was in the, the crib. crib too. Stayed in the crib? I was with my mom, you know what I'm saying? After that, me and my brother, we just went out, you know, and Jarrell and whatnot. Niggas were just chilling. Niggas did illegal things. A little illegal. I was with my family. I had a little too much fun. So it was so Yeah, stuff. I don't I don't really remember yeah. what so happened. Like all I know <laughs> all I know is apparently when I woke up and my aunt and them told me, like what happened was like I basically got mad drunk off the douce <clears throat> and I kinda like felt in my throw up. Yo, that's ladies disgusting. and gentlemen, one thing you don't do is you don't get too drunk off the douce. Douce, hey, that's a fact. <laughs> I'll go for it. Yo, I that, oh boy. Nigga was I'm good. Only sp- only smoke say supposed to keep you Keep you level. I don't know. Henny be cooking me. I'm not gonna. Lie. Nah, yeah, Henny definitely be cooking me, bro. Cooking me. Nah, I'm I kind of done with the Henny now. I'm not going for it. I think it's just Duce and and maybe occasional tequila, but yeah, I think like I'm on the same vibes. I'm not gonna lie, they are not lying. Like some girl had told me, she's like tequila don't get you drunk. I mean, like it gets you drunk, but there's no hangover. That's what she told me. And I mean, every I single drink, time I would have to drink more to, to give. Up that's kind of true, but you could definitely get a hangover off the tequila if you drink too much, like. I've gotten drunk off the tequila and I'll wake up like it's nothing. Light, it's definitely lighter, like you feel me? Yeah, it's definitely. Easy. You know they say that light liquor is better for you, like in it the is, long of run course. of life, like compared to dark liquor. Light liquor is definitely better for you than dark. So liquor. eventually, like niggas might have to That's change like the light anyway. That's like soda too, like light light soda. From yeah, because you can't be drinking Pepsi your whole life. That's right. gross. Yo, <laughs> while I'm running my night job, bro, they be waking up, bro, taking their meds with um Pepsi. That's disgusting. That's That's so shit. nasty, bro. Sorry, sorry for the white people. That's nasty. <laughs> Take it, waking up seven in the morning to take oh, meds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And you got a I Pepsi. I thought y'all like in general, like I don't you can't need... take a that's Rayvon. You can't take a pill with soda. Like Ray what's wrong with Pepsi. that? Dead Dead I, love Pepsi. Pepsi, I love Pepsi, but I don't, I don't drink, drink no dark. No I don't drink soda. Period. But I'm not drinking no dark soda, bro. I do occasionally. That shit like coffee. All right, we are, we are, we we doing too much. We, we doing too much banter. Right. Yo, yo. So let's let's nip it in the bud. You know what I'm saying? This was not supposed to be the first episode. This is not our first recording. We recorded some shit, and unfortunately, the shit didn't record, quote, unquote. But, you know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. We definitely in a better space, as y'all can see. This shit is dead I'm going to keep saying it. It's official tissue, bro. Like, That's your nah, this shit definitely way more official God, than the last one. Sponsored by Down to the Soul. You see the side, man. Exactly. Shout out my son Fresco behind the camera. Fresco, you see him. Behind the camera, y'all behind the edits. Him, y'all, uh-huh. y'all, y'all know who he is. Man yeah. the plan. They can put his face in the camera. <laughs> you gotta put the chains in there. Feel me? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flex on the one side. It's 2020. You gotta flex when you can. <clears throat> flex. But yo, let's get into some some meaningful stuff. You feel me? Like besides how y'all new year was. You know what I'm saying? Let's think back to just because it's a new decade now. It's not even just a new year. It's a new decade. Feel me? In 2020. Fact, 2020 so like, what's some things you you think you learned from you know the period t- a period of time between 2010 to 2019, you feel me? That maybe you don't do now, or like things you added to your life now. Like, let's talk about it. Let me preface this. My main point is that I didn't really value like more so like a female friend is more so what I'm getting yeah, at. That's understandable. I, 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 that's understandable. You get me right? Like you feel me? Like more like it was just like if you wasn't really trying to be a kill, like, like it was, it wasn't a, it wasn't a deal for me. Feel me? I had my bros. I was set, bro. So like, like drinking right now. You, you feel me? For me. You feel me? But now it's like you know what I'm saying like, like I enjoy the conversations <laughs> I get. Now I'm jaded. That's crazy. <laughs> jaded for real. Uh, Jack and Ray got teenage yo. fever. <laughs> Whoa, nah, nah, nah. nah. Whoa, yo, what's going on here? Yo, yo, yo. Whoa, there. Don't go there. So that was the number one thing that. Nah, that, that's something that came to mind though. 
That's the first thing that came to mind. First thing that came to mind. He wanted to get that off his chest. That's nice. Right. Nigga been disrespecting women for mad long. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look. For me, I realized that this real life shit is really real, man. No funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, like, it may sound stupid, but, like, after college, like, I really realized, like, yo, all of that grown-up shit, bro, like, responsibilities are real. Like, for me, it really hit me crazy, bro. But I saw, I saw I realized over the years. Even in college, too. Like, I, I had times when I struggled in college. Like, I was like, yo, this shit is really real. Like, <clears throat> college was light with cheese, you feel me? When I was at the crib. College was light? Light cheese. Nah. Nah, college was not light. coasted. Like, yeah, he's bugging. I coasted. <laughs> you probably did. I you probably coasted. did. I'm not going for, I, I never, coasted too, though. But like, it was coasted. definitely times that I that was tough. Like, I think, so you you talking about in just terms of the the living aspect of college, like overall, not just class, life, li- everything, life, like being on your own. We didn't realize class. he had to make food for himself at night. He yeah, like, like oh. niggas, was, niggas. I'm not gonna lie, it was <laughs> nice. I was hungry, nigga. I had no nah, bread, no nothing. Nah, you ain't, yo, you ain't going. Like, you ain't going to college like, away from like, uh, away from <laughs> home if you ain't ever, never eat sleep, bro. Yeah. If you ain't never eat sleep for rough, dinner, bro. bro. Fried sleep, bro. <laughs> Shit. Fried sleep used to hit, bro. <laughs> shit rough out here, dude. Yo, one thing college told me, especially the 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 Y-T's, the Y-T's. I don't know what that is. The whites. The white. Oh, what? But that it's supposed to say sweater the short combo. The, the sweater with the shorts. That shit is mad comfortable, bro. That's a good combo. Yo, bro, I used to laugh at them niggas. No funny <laughs> shit. I, still I used to laugh. I'm like, yo, bro, what? Do it what, what are y'all doing? Like, how is, it? bro? Do it. Telling you, bro. Get your caps out. That bro. yo, bro. That sh- yo. Bro, I'm not gonna front. That is almost, almost equivalent to tech. It's almost <laughs> equivalent to tech. Nah, you bugging. That's serious. You, bro, what? Out. you wear what? a sweater with shorts. You equivalent that, to tech. What? It, it's equivalent to that comfortable comfortability. It's shorts, bro. That's what I'm saying. I guess. But I feel like I've done that before. Bro. Text whatever text. Shows. It's it's oh, my pa- pause shit. pause. It's fake like you free balling. Like it feels like that. Come on, come on. Fake. That's tough. Pause. Come on. Come but yo, like, like but yo, let's, get, let's not act like free balling not comfortable. It, it is. But let's, let's get back to the um main topic because I don't want to stray too far. You feel me? Yeah, stay on track. So let's. <laughs> what's your between don't you think and? About it too well, much. I mean, I, when I was at home, you know, reflecting <laughs> with my pops and shit, I was basically like, it came to realization, like, honestly. We was born like I, I was born. I think we're old. Most of us born ninety five, ninety six. But exactly. feel me, I think. Me? Say, I think. <laughs> 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 but oh my god, feel me. I don't know about y'all, but like from twenty ten to twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, like niggas really grew up. Like this is the decade we're gonna look back on and be like, yo, like we grew up into until like young adults and what we gonna look at down the line type. So it's like. <laughs> The roller coaster. Looking back, I was like, "That's like similar to what you said. Like life. That's what it is. Is that a roller coaster? You got just Bounce back. good years, bad Bounce years, back. and that's how it go. And then like you guys gotta see it out, niggas. Ten years from now, in twenty ten, I wasn't thinking about. I was. I knew I was gonna graduate from college. I didn't know it was gonna take me that long. I didn't know it was gonna be that hard. But you feel me? I made it through, and now I'm on the outside, and I'm trying to just figure out what's next for the next decade. That's in the past, and now I'm just. Long view future. So basically, your thing was just you found out, you know, you got like life keeps going on. Yeah, like, you like move for forward, me, you like, grow up. This bumps in the road. Exactly. You feel me? I'm pretty sure we could all say like we grew as as men. Definitely. Me? Like, yeah, we went into college like, like kids, little kids. And we exactly. Came out, came out yeah, men. I live physically like, look like a little kid. Yeah. Yeah. Say, bro, you really look at your high school graduation photos, your freshman year photos. Niggas was little ass kids in upstate New York, like by myself. Wow, bro. And it's crazy. You look on those like. We was looking at that time, like, as seniors in high school, like, yo, feel me, it's lit, feel me? Like, freshman year of high school, we was, like, looking like little-ass kids, moving even more, like, young-minded than how we all when we were seniors. And then we got to college and everything like that. Like, feel me, it's just the trials and tribulations of being a young man in this world, man. There's always a level up that has to happen, you know what I'm saying? saying? Some people, they don't do that, though, feel me? Like, like, obviously, there's people in the decade you probably don't talk to as much as you did when when it started. Same thing when new decade about to come. Who knows who's gonna be here in twenty thirty? Feel me? Like uh, some we people. Be here though. That's a fact. Hopefully. Solid. Nah, bro. If I don't get us canceled first. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about if us me, in general. Oh, oh, as like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, for me. Y'all, y'all gonna fight one of these days. Nah, man. But, when we get lit, we just gonna set up the real boxing match, and that's gonna be. Bro, I will buy the, the boxing gloves on the podcast. Yeah, niggas talking aside will... about how I'm smoking this nigga. You want me to be Michael Buffer? But the main thing that I learned is that life is short, bro. Like. This shit is mad fast. Like, 
we was we was talking about the shit the, uh, today. Matter of fact, no. What um, in terms of um the battlefest? Oh yeah, y'all remember battlefest when Nick yeah, Kelly facts. was battling yeah, Blast seven years ago, bro? That's serious. Seven. Yeah, but I could have, I could have fake, fake, figured that was a but minute ago. But it don't ago. feel like seven that's years. I mean, for me it does, like, cause that was a, that was a long time ago. And that's that's the me. shit that I really learned. Like, life is short. But life that is definitely short my, though. Mad fast, like when niggas was in college and we got out of college. Yeah, cause college went by dumb quick. Nah, college went by dumb. Nah, dumb quick. I almost wish dumb I did quick. the fifth year, bro. I was that's like, damn, bro. The mm-hmm. amount of people that said, like, when I got um to Buffalo State, oh, yo, college is gonna go by mad fast. Like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know. said that about high school. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, but. College is different, bro. It's different. Like it really, it went by really quick. So, uh, this decade. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. Messing with a lot of women that make it go quicker. I'm not my uncle once you. said, "My Niggas uncle once chatting, said bro. that." Like, <laughs> yo, that has nothing to do with anything, nigga. It it's does. Just, life just go by quick, no, bro. bro that's me. just a. That's if you're the type of dude that got a link every weekend, I'm not. I never did. But if you're the type of oh, dude that had a link chat. every weekend, bro. Yes. Y'all look at the semester going, bro. Chatting, bro nigga. I have, I'm not even, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I ain't have a link every weekend. That shit went by. I would still, never man. have a link every weekend. That don't sound healthy, bro. <laughs> but okay. that don't have no, that don't sound healthy at all, I heard bro. You a, a skis Louise and open. You big smart. <laughs> Who's Louise? <laughs> big smart. Who? You the biggest smart at this table right now. I'm jacking that spray though behind the camera. <laughs> he not the table though. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you see, you see. But nah, not even, bro. I speak. You gotta claim it though. Be proud of nah, that. Nah, shit. not even. I'm not. That's not me. I'm not claiming that. <laughs> <laughs> you wildin'. He trying to mess up my current links. He's 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 trying to mess up my current links. That's why I ain't saying the damn thing because I ain't. I'm not doing no drugs. I'm trying to get cuffed in 2020. Y'all wildin', bro. He's trying to mess up my in a decade. Nah, give it to like 20. Nah, he said the year, bro. This year. Talking about like in the start of the decade, July, July by July. In the July? Su- nah, bro, I'm jacking that. Bro, you trying to go? Yo, yo, I just got you me a new thing for the cup. summer. Just got me a boo thing for the summer. Who said that feel? bullshit? Fab. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, that's another thing. Fab probably try to think. Fab might have the worst decline of this decade. <sighs> worst decline? I don't think. He- I, I see why he says that because in the beginning of the decade he, he was had it on Fab rock, was bro. hot, bro. He had but on I mean rock. that's natural so with age and nah, stuff. Nah, but nah. Bro. Fab been doing it for mad long, and, and you gotta and you gotta. But he was understand still nice. His life and, well, gotta, even when you we gotta had, understand where his life is at right now too. Yeah, bro. Fab trying what, to get corny? his family back, bro. <laughs> that's where his life is. He's at? doing the Family Man rebrand. Every family guy, Family Man rebrand. It starts with the matching outfits with the whole family. He has like three of those, and then you gotta you know start bringing your wife to all the clubs with you, which he's been doing. He's been tight about it, but he's been doing it you feel me then you gotta start rapping differently you know what i'm saying like nah, he's doing the rebrand, bro, that's bro. the thing i don't think he's rapping differently i think he's, he's rapping, rapping the same like, he's rapping it's just the, it's just the bars are getting like he he literally switches the bars out into like modern era like he changes the names and shit around and it's like all right that's it i like, mean that's his stilo though but i'm saying like the, if you look at it he's legit rapping the same like there's been no like different improvement or anything like he that's i mean it. a lot of people rap the same though for for most of their careers, you're right, but like they don't they don't change the bars. Like for me, he's been using that Wi-Fi line how much times now? He used the Wi-Fi line in the, in the beginning of the decade, but it's still relevant though. It's still nah. Talk bro. is cheap. Free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Boom, that's nigga, niggas not trying to hear that. Bro. <laughs> and we heard that in 2010 and flipped out. Like we was like, that's a bar. We was like, fine, Don Demarco. I was definitely. Nah, a bar. I never get Don Demarco. I never gave a down to Mark, but that's not a bad bar, especially in the space he used it in. It wasn't a, like that shit. it wasn't a bad bar. It was a good bar. In the, in the song he used it, I forgot what song he used it in. The but way you said it, that delivery. I mean, obviously I'm not Fab. There's no beat. <laughs> Let's not act like Fab would deliver that any any <laughs> any more like, that like different. Was just like that, like you like said. Close, Yo, talking to the mic, bro. Yo. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we're not here to talk about the bait. Fab's decline, up, up climb, whatever you want to talk it. You know what I'm saying? All right, one thing I noticed I wanted to talk about on cam with y'all was parties are different, bro. Fucking sucks. 2010. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't. You got to go to the right party. I was going to say, everybody not. out there, you got to go to the Fets, man. Honestly, go it to the Fets. I feel like if you don't go to a Fet, 
like for real fat, you not gonna have no type of fun, bro. If you don't go to no that's real a fact. Fet, go to carnivals, you feel me? You gonna have yeah, a time that's, of your that's, life, that's bro. That's, that's where you gotta go. But the fact that you gotta go travel OT, nah, bro. Think about but it. But I'm saying that's a, a majority of the times, like a lot of people. Yeah, have, that's majority of the time. Travel OT to go really. really that's where the list shit is at, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Exactly. you I mean, in general, in general, the New York City like party scene is not. It's not it. Like it's definitely trash. New but we used to have a blast, though. No, we did. We did. We used to have a blast. But I feel like it's just something with age, though. For me, like. It's nah, just me. I think we're we got in New bougie. York City I our think whole we got life. Bougie, bro. I'm gonna tell you why. Nah, I think niggas definitely got bougie. Because I'm gonna tell you why. Niggas definitely bro. got bougie too. Well, That's we used part to be in the flexes back in the <clears throat> day. We were young though. I'm we shorty getting on the floor like that no more. Like for me, not even yeah, on the floor though. Busting a damn like Not even about to act like he's on the floor. Let me let me get my point out. It's bougie. They not gonna do that. Because we on our phone. about the floor though. We on our phones recording shit more than we even trying to party nowadays, bro. Like we trying to snap. Because even back when I first started college, like 2013, like we was recording a lot, but we were still doing stuff. As further Not along, as much. we wasn't going as much, but we was we were still doing stuff. Like the party still would be lit. But like 2015, late 2015 ish, that's, when, that's when it started becoming like way more like, all right, who's going to be there? I'm, let me show y'all I'm here. And then after that, it's like the party, there's no party vibes no more. Like you really be at a party sections. and like having to search for a wine to get, bro. That's honestly what sections it is. It's because of the sections. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, only, I'm not blaming it all on the section. Not not a section, no, could, no, 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 a no, section no. could be lit though. A look, 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 look. Like, I don't mind the section, but at least like, at least have like the filming, make it a valid VIP section over here and have a valid dance floor. But I've been to spots, not even in just New York, like in Houston too. Yo, legit, the floor is, like, full of sections. And the yeah. dance floor is, like, this small. So, like, feel me? They force you to buy a section. And now you're just legit, like, a whole bunch of couches. Niggas is looking at each other in each other's sections. Feel me? Like, what oh, am I doing another, here? You got another bottle? That's how niggas make Yo, money. Yo, get another bottle. That's what I'm saying. It, the closest profit and more than <laughs> niggas having fun. Tell and people that go there is just, I mean, it's just for the flex. I can't even... I wouldn't even put that up there on the reasons why partying got trash, honestly. Because, like, I feel like... People just got bougier. Um, it's not the same, like, it's not the same vibe. Like, I feel like back in the day, feel me, niggas was just wild, like, wilding, like, feel me? I'm, you're not, you catching a double every girl in the party, bro, you feel me? I mean, niggas did grow up granted I was going to say, too, like, we grown men now, like, feel me? I don't expect it to be like yeah, that. Yeah, me neither, I don't expect I'm saying, like, to be even when like I was that. in college, like, the, the vibe wasn't the same, like, you towards the end college, bro, like, college, come on now. Nah, but lit. college where you be lit. Like, towards the end of college, yeah, towards, the end of college was crazy. towards the end of college, it started be, being less lit, bro. Yeah, like, it started dying out crazy. Like, crazy. I, was, I, was, I wasn't even going out to parties no more, like, my senior year. Like, bro, I if I wasn't going, getting like, it free, I wasn't going, bro. That's, that was you know what I'm saying. Thing, like, it, it got whacked to me. Like, I felt like, I mean, granted, like, it's some of the stuff was, like, still lit, but, like. I just think it's something we grew out of. Like, I, I've been felt, I grew out of parties. Nah, because I go to parties, feel me, like I said, carnivals, man. Bro, bro I get college, college, bro. 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 Look, 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 I, bro. I have bro. a great time, bro. Like, I have a great, bro, no stush vibes, no nothing. I've been jacking that for two years now. Like, in order for me to have fun, I dead, like, would rather party OT. Because it's like, feel me, even if I hear the same music, I'm not going to see the same people. It's a whole different vibe, like feel me, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like I rather go in that other culture. Places. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, and I, I felt like in New York, the Caribbean culture was lit when we was younger. Like it was like the real Caribbean culture. But like when you go to these carnivals, like guy, just like, heard that? the Caribbean culture, bro, the Caribbean culture, like they don't, they don't have no shame. Like it's no shame. Like Thanks. you catching a dub, like you pull up on a shorty, man. She's giving you a wine because she don't got... My nigga, it's whatless behavior, bro. Like, right. that, I, not like that. No. I like it's how y'all like the two Guyanese, like no Guyanese men over on this side. As a fact, bro. Right. GT right. repping, nigga. Facts, we in here. Let's take get back into our topic bag real quick. One thing that um, was mentioned by actually Ray here brought up, like how old heads kind of need to listen to like the young dudes now. Why you, nah, feel, yeah. why you feel like that is? I was actually... Shout out to my son, Miles, because we be having good discussions. So I was telling him, like, in this decade... A lot of shit, a lot of old stuff that was like the the norm is is gonna be like outdated. Like for me, you might see the death of music labels. You might see the death of a lot of shit. Like like because the young kids, like with everything with the tech, like and the way socialization is like the way is is moving. Mm -hmm. The old people like they don't understand it. All they have, all if you think about it, all they have adapted to is just straight tech, like. They adapted to the tech, like DVDs was gone. I mean, VHSs, DVDs, and now it's like streaming. Feel me? So like all all they've really adapted to is the tech, but they haven't adapted to like concepts, ideas, like even movies, like original movies and stuff like that. So I feel like now it's the right this decade you're gonna see a lot of stuff. Young young folks, 
probably like that we might not know firsthand, but we probably heard, seen them like in whatever. Those people are gonna catch come ups in in whatever like whether it be like an Apple deal or something like that. They gonna have like an Apple deal, something like that, working for Apple, and that be like a new music label. Like instead of it being an actual like Def Jam and stuff like that, no, it's gonna be Apple and Spotify. And then you have young folks to curate new artists under that. I see what you mean. You say do that, and then like like I said, Apple was a big thing. They about to have Apple mu- uh, Music Awards. Imagine the Grammys, like the Grammys, it's no longer like a a, a prestigious award. Where we, the Apple Music Awards become like the pre- new prestigious award. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can definitely see that happening because the prominence of streaming. Like, even though I still don't first... know what a stream is, what is a stream? I think. What is it like? Listen. Well, no, but like, what equates to a stream? I think it's like a thousand what? or ten. I don't know, bro. That's I... what I'm saying. I still need these answers, but yeah. I can definitely see where you're going with that. You know, sentiment. My only thing is like, besides outside of even just music, though. Like, you feel like there's any other areas that like? People... No, like just I'm saying music. Uh. Entertainment wise, all that, even concept wise, like look at look how much like how much teachers do we know right now that like are our like age, personal? yeah, like that are our age I think teaching. I know, like five. So I definitely I'm saying, know at least seven teachers. I know a few. Like that's what I see is that like we are like the younger the teachers are getting younger. They have to exactly. They this one's like, they're getting younger. All of this, but I didn't see that much young people like young yeah, we, teachers. We had we the oldest, nastiest looking teachers growing up. <laughs> Yo, remember Miss Racco? Oh nah. Miss Racco was like ninety seven, bro. She probably dead now, bro. Like, dang, rest in peace, Miss Racco. <laughs> I don't even know if she's first. Like, so that's what I'm saying, like, nah, but she was dead mad old, like when she was teaching. I never bro. had Miss Racco. I seen her. She, she, she was Polish, right? So yeah, she, she was Polish. But then one of like one of these kids punch her, and like y'all made a big deal about oh, nah, it. I think, I think, it think was, they knocked like knocked into her. I don't think yeah, it was a punch. I think it was when 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 Joseph and, and Edwin had a fight. Nah, it was like another. That. It was another fight. I'm that, that didn't happen. That shit. I wanted to see it. It was another fight. <laughs> You not, I want to see that. Too, bro. Nah, nah, there were right. certain things in high school you don't want to see. Right? <laughs> yeah. We used to not leave the classroom to like go see fights back That's in the day, right. bro. We never used to leave the classroom. It's just something I noticed. Like I said, like if you think, if you look at it, a lot of stuff is getting younger, and not, like you know how it goes. Like for me, it's a new wave, and then the old heads have to adapt on how to capitalize off of that. As far as profit is concerned, that's what they. For me, old people, that's all they really care about. At the end of the day, is the profit. Feel me, but it's all about the curation of what's going to come before that, the new wave. That's why I said, like, New York City in general is in a great space right now. So I just want to know, like, who's going to come up off that entertainment-wise and, like, just movie-wise and things like that. All right, so my, my next question would be, like, how do y'all feel about certain older people that are, like, not trying to relinquish their spots? Like, for example, like, Funk Flex is clearly oh, yeah. outdated, but, like, he's not trying to relinquish his spot to, like, a young like you know young DJ coming up that could really why would he though because you know what I'm saying it's the right thing to it's do. the right thing to do nah I'm, I'm not hearing why that why would he relinquish his yeah, spot I wouldn't, if he's I'm not still hearing that. it's not like he's grooming like, anybody underneath him that. too that's usually how it goes I, I see what you mean in that aspect but you gotta think about it Funk Flex probably thinking like I don't ever wanna stop doing this shit yeah, but that's like, like, that, that's corny and at well, some point, you and it's not like he's that. nice. Bro. If you, I feel like if you were still, Funk, like, and I feel like if you were still nice, I will understand why you would say that. But I mean, Funk, Funk Flex is gonna get booked regardless, though. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, but nobody, you don't need nobody's to. asking for Funk Flex to. to nah, be. no. A lot of people in New York in general don't even like Funk Flex. But no, I know that. Bro, that I know that. But it's not. It's not no movement. Was like, let's get this nigga Funk Flex. But my thing is like, because his stubbornness not, and his lack of ability or lack adapt. of willingness to adapt or groom somebody else underneath him will be his. Will be his. In It'd my be opinion. rumors he be he be getting these young artists like he be he be like stealing their money and stuff like getting donations. Yo, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not hearing that grooming shit. I feel like he's not. I feel like he has mad years left that he doesn't need to groom someone. Like I, you got to understand with grooming somebody that comes with time. Like he's he's worried about how he getting that back. Like you, yeah, he's still but he's been getting, getting the back he getting for to how it. long? But my my he's, he don't he's, he was he was saying he don't even take bread for um for playing music in the club no more. Like that's that's, that's what he, payola. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> but that's what he's jacking. If if that's the if that's really the case, I'm definitely not grooming nobody because I'm really trying to get the back. Like I'm trying to have my name and my likeness. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna forever, lie. Bro. I'm not grooming nobody, bro. It's, a, it's the people that have <laughs> that have like. Look at Scotty Beam. She came up. They tried like Ebro tried to groom her. Now she left and she's doing other things outside of Hot 97. It's not like other people have come to Hot 97 and Bro, but you that. don't know what Funk Flex did behind the scenes or who he influenced or He helped Angie. He helped. That's it. Who else did Funk Flex help? Bro, you don't know. You dead don't know. 
Bro, it's not it's not like there's been other shows besides Funk Flex. I'll be, yo, I'm yo Funk Flex. Get to that bag, man. Yo, this, this right. fuck with these niggas talk about. I'm like I said, it's yo, not like, get to that bag, nigga. I'm getting to that. And bag it's not forever. like he don't be doing shit for clout either. Like Funk, Funk Flex, legit I mean, a clout of chaser. Of course, my nigga, what DJ is not a clout chaser, bro? Really yo, think I about it. I got the meek this. I got the. Remember that he said he had the meek this and that he didn't have oh, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> he looked stupid, bro. That's a clout chaser. Boy, Funk Flex will never bro. die, bro. He's never gonna go. Like I, never gonna go away, bro. Until he be like, yo, I'm trying to dip. Drops bombs. I don't know, son. Like I, I said, it's, I feel like I if it. Funk Flex was to dip, who knows what new what new talent and a new wave would bring to Hot ninety seven? Not that Hot ninety seven is gonna be bigger than what it is. That's right another now. thing. Radio dying out, so bro. I'm saying. Radio's so dead. Like, it's not even like it's dying out. It's dead, dead. Yeah, bro. Radio's that's, that's dead. Why they, they, like the only time I check for Flex is when somebody pull up to his studio yeah, to do for the freestyle. for a freestyle, bro. And even I don't them check for Flex regardless lately. of that. Facts. I, I haven't I haven't heard a, a hot Flex freestyle in a little minute. I ain't gonna lie. So, like I said, that's just a per- perfect example. Old heads not know how to adapt, and they don't listen to young talent. Now look, you got Hot 97 dead. They Yo, madly. How are you Hot 97 dead, bro? Hot 97 is dead, You bro. bug it, nigga. Hot 97 is dead. It's bro. not dead, dead but young niggas on, like, it's dead. dying, though. I definitely agree with it. It's dying. But it's the, at the end of the day, dead, that bro. man is always going to have some type of relevance. We sitting here talking about him, bro. That's what I'm trying to show you. He's been doing this for, like, how long? Since like late eighties, nigga. That's what I'm trying to show you, bro. He's gonna keep doing it. Bro. I'm not saying he's not like. Gonna but how keep so? Doing it, but I'm saying even if it's dying out, he's making his bread. Bro, I'm talking bro, about I'm just saying when these young, Apple Music faces. exclusives start dropping, Apple Music exclusive freestyles and all this stuff, and we stop checking for flex on certain bro. platforms, we gonna be having a different conversation, bro. That's what I'm saying. But that's that's just my take. Hey, on even it. still, you when when that when that shit happened, look how long he's done it. <laughs> he a legend, bro. He, you, bro legend. you can be a legend. That's bro, fine. He's, I'm not, he's still a legend. Already, I'm not, yo, you're he literally... Like, he like Vince Carter right now, I'm bro. not saying anything bad he about like Vince Carter. that uh, taking away from him you being a legend. that he needs to ta- adapt ta- to ta- the... Taking away from him being a legend. I'm not taking nothing away from that. He's definitely a legend. He has not adapted to the times, bro. Funk Flex is dead. Bro, he hasn't now. adapted like, to the times and he's still eating, bro. Okay, he has longevity. He has mad connects. Like he's not. It's not like he's Yo, done any. Topic, son. This is going like, nowhere. I'm next saying. Time. <laughs> it's not like he's run into any controversy as far as like some some. What's this guy name? The one that was sleeping with the trannies. Um, uh-huh. what's his new name? C. Yeah, 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 Mr. Yeah, C. Mr. C. It's not like he was doing a Mr. Yeah. C. Yeah, no controversy like that. I think the only controversy he had was like like he had some domestic violence dispute or some yeah, bad he divorce lied about having to make this, but. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. Bro, I was tuned in. There was no diss. It was mad bombs. <laughs> but regardless, uh, since we talk about the youth taking over, we can um, switch into like some actual rap topics. So we want to let's let's start with um, the top projects of 2019. What was your top projects? I could say we give them three to five. <clears throat> I got my list. If y'all not ready, Nick, I gotta look at title. Yeah, we go got, first. We bro. talking about re- we talking just rap or we Al- gonna include no, R&B albums, in there? Albums, albums, music, albums? music, music. All right, music so I'm jacking plugs. I met some Benny. That's on my list. The 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 first the baby album, baby on baby, baby on baby. It's not on my list, but it's up. that honorable that mention. was definitely honorable there mention. for the year. And um, Summer Walkers album. Yeah. Summer Walker's album is definitely on my list, bro. Yeah, so... I, I, said, I got five, and then I got... Because I sat down and thought about this. So, so like, I got five, and I got three honorable mentions. This is my that's list. A lot of I already about. know one that's probably going to be on there for you. Nah, I think what you think is going to be on there is not going to be All on right. there. Mm-hmm. All right, so I got Summer Walker on here with Over It. That's one of my favorite albums, R&B-wise. I like R&B. I got Thug on here for So Much Fun. So Much Fun is that So shit. Much Fun is up there. You, you could toss that in there. I, guess. I got so African Giant there. from Burner Boy. Mm-hmm. That was a great. I don't know if that. I don't know if that's his first album or that what. But that's first album I've ever listened to from Burner Boy, and that was a great listen from top to bottom for me. I got it's a surprise ad. I got Perfect Ten by DJ Mustard on it. Yo, there. I was thinking about perfect that. Perfect Ten gonna by D, that was almost a perfect ten. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, almost. I was dead almost thinking a perfect about that 10. album. And then I, my fifth one would be the Plugs I Met by Benny. That's like my favorite like rap oh, rapper. Cool? Huh? No, Eagle, you know you're a taller Stan. I'm not a Stan. I mean, I just, he's my guy. But he, he, his album was good to me, but it doesn't crack my top 10. Um, but honorable mention, I got Nigga, I got baby. Shea Butter Baby by Ari, Ari Lennox. Definitely I got great Port of Miami 2 by Rick Ross. And my surprise. <laughs> Yo, there's a Rick Ross slander on this side and Nicki Minaj slander at all times. Yeah, we, and then my last honorable Yo, mention Bobbies, we love you. is um, Jim Jones, El Capo. And that's about it. 
Not what y'all bad. got? Not bad. I definitely got Summer Walker on mine. Definitely. I feel like uh, everybody, if it's Summer Walker not on facts. there, I think. You dead. I don't you know, know don't, what you're listening to. Yeah, yeah, bro. Ass nigga. For real. Um, shit, I got to really look, bro. We gave you these topics earlier today. You did, but I was, I was out of it. This is what happens when you don't do pre-production. What was yours? Honestly, I can't. I can't. I, you got to come back to God. I, I can't think of like favorite projects because I don't. I don't like. I don't listen to music that way. But Summer Walk is definitely up there. So how, how do you um, listen to music? You, like songs, mean? I feel like more more. Oh, so you okay? Yeah, I, I I I I don't go through albums like in a day. Like I I I listen to more like like a wide variety of songs. Please please excuse please excuse me for being antisocial. Is all mine. Oh, yeah. too. Shit just came out. So. Yeah, he sat with it long enough to love, to love it, I guess. I dead ass listened to that shit mad times, bro. I, that's, that I feel like that's through. definitely one of the best projects of it. Because it, it was a good project. Like, it, no it's, funny shit. It's probably so much fun to round up my three. Mm-hmm. Hoodie Seas came out 2018, right? Like December? Yeah, I think it was a late December drop. Um, late 2018 I'm not drop. Lie. Or was it early that 2019? That should be counted. Because that is a classic, bro. Hoodie season? Hoodie season classic? Like, I don't know about that, Looking bro. Looking back? I don't know about that. In retrospect? I don't know, but I, I cannot agree with that at all. In retrospect? It's a, I think he's... I've always said a classic. I think he's smoking. <laughs> he's smoking crap. It's the I first mixtape. The first mixtape and that album is going. It's the best. The first mixtape? Classic. Definitely. Hoodie season? I, I mean, yo, bro, you got to look back on the track list. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> shit, shit is fire. Classic? Fire. Classic. Yo, this is the part of the podcast where you gotta explain that sometimes Ray don't know what the fuck he's talking about. All right. <clears throat> Tell uh, you. They yo, ga- yo, yo. They gonna gather that as we... I want to three. Yo, in the comments, agree, disagree. Hoodie season classic. He's not gonna get no... Nobody's right. gonna call it a classic, bro. Nobody's calling... Right. You'd right. be surprised if anybody called anything A Boogie did a classic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, nah, nah. His first is a classic. It's a classic to me, definitely, but... Some people be disrespectful, bro. It is a classic. Man, yeah, it is a classic. Not just wild. So that you don't got nothing, Reem? I got Summer Walker. Of course. Feel me, R and B got to stick with that, man. Um, honestly, I gotta go with my son Chef G, man. Mm. Chef G tape. I'm not gonna lie to you. you That's definitely what? one I of might the. Have to <laughs> Pop, no. Nah, not, not the tape. Oh, I'm not, not the tape. Not the That's a great song. Yeah, hold, right. on, hold, on right. hold on to that. that pop, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm hold on to that. Hold on to that. I'm putting Sleepy Hollow's uh, tape definitely in my top. Sleepy Hollow had a good tape. That shit is fire. If y'all haven't listened to Sleepy yeah, Hollow, yeah, his shit is was that an album? Or was that just a tape? It's an EP. I was counting just albums. It's an EP. I'm a yeah, collection it's of work, project. man. Fuck that. It's a project. It's a body of work. It's a project. I feel like Chef G definitely like he put together a great like collection of songs. Who y'all who y'all think had had the better tape? What? What the fuck are you looking for? Oh, no. Nah, don't worry. Remind me. It was something I seen in the regard. I feel like, last. for me, it, the better tape is um Chef G's tape, but I could definitely see why you say Sleepy Hollow shit is I, better, I though. I say it's Sleepy Because his shit was definitely valid, too. I, t- I probably take Chef G, though. Chef? That's my guy. I think I take Chef G. I'm not going to lie, man. That pop smoke EP bangs from front to back, bro. Nah, Ray got a disorder. Yo, I'm telling you. <laughs> right. really love him, bro. bro. Nah, it's, it's a calm It's, 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 it's a calm it's a take. Valid for but the- he loves this nigga, bro. Like, bro that but that's, nice. a, that's a perfect segue because we actually had another conversation <laughs> in the chat. That um, wasn't a conversation. It wasn't a conversation. It was a comment. Him, I don't want to say nigga blocked me for this. <laughs> nigga blocked me on IG. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was blocked. <laughs> All I see is Fritz following me back. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Bro, I didn't yeah. even follow him. He's not that big blocking niggas. Bro, he, I didn't even know he did that. It was the first bro, time he ever did that. He, he not hit me, me up on you. some bullshit. I was bro. dead eyes too, though. I was dead eyes. Right, and I let the, let the audience know like what you said. All right, so I I forgot. If, I'm about to go wasn't Lowe's he just dropped the freestyle? That I was think, what set it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I put the, the I even, I'm not even going to hold you. freestyle up. And then this nigga just, I'm not even gonna hold you I didn't even listen to that shit For the shit. audience For the audience <laughs> I didn't even listen yeah, to yeah, that For shit. the audience For clarity <laughs> The King Los That's what he goes by yeah, now right? King, King Los LA Liga's freestyle Is what he put in the chat And then you can go on from there King Los If you haven't seen him He's one of the best Rappers for bars If you're looking for somebody Like he drops mad bars He's King our Eris Cassidy That's what he is He's our Eris that's, that's exactly what he is He said our I just said, wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna get For those who might not know But go ahead E Nah, I was trying to see exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I put it up. Then he put Benny with the Benny over low shit. I put the sleeping emojis. Nigga said, "Nigga, Los ain't it, Duke." I said, "Okay." 
Then he put the fucking pig emoji, and then like a minute later, nigga put pop smoke over low. So after that, I just blocked him. <laughs> I just blocked him. Like you be annoying. <laughs> nah, yo, no funny shit though. He could really argue. It's not an argument. I I'm no way, shape, or form will I ever say that Los is, is not like that. Pop Smoke is a better rapper than Los. Never. I'm not arguing that at all. Los is by far the better rapper. Okay. He's a better he's a better rapper than a lot of people that even are a list rappers. That's feel not. me? He's definitely that for the bars. But for the bars, I'm not gonna lie. That nigga, I, bro, that nigga cannot put a good song together. He dead ass like feel me like I I've never seen or even heard a classic low song, let alone a project. Now feel I me? hear you, but like when you was saying that, bro, the first thing that in my mind is like, like just be it like you was just discrediting Los like O D like. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, like Los Los is great with the pen. He, like I said, he's a great, but that's, that's that, that nigga probably the best ghostwriter in 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 in. I don't know who he writing for. He writing for them niggas on that show, that Chance the Rapper show. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, don't, don't listen to my son D-Smoke. My son D-Smoke yeah, is Yeah, my son nice. D-Smoke is, is right. For I'm sure. saying mm-hmm. that he was helping them out, though. Oh, yeah, he, he helped out D-Smoke. <laughs> I ain't seen him in one shot. I was going to say, I don't think I was in one shot. I was going to say, I was not in one shot. I was going to say, I was not in one shot. 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 I don't think I seen him in the session with D-Smoke. Come on, man. That man had everything planned out, man. I'm not going to find out. That's probably the biggest look I've ever seen in Los's career, besides the bad boy Sonny. No funny shit. I, I understand where you were coming from in terms of how hot Pop Smoke is. Like, Los has never been as hot as Pop Smoke is now. Like, so and will never it, be. Yeah. That could, this, he won't. He won't. He bro, won't. he would never be as hot <laughs> as Pop Smoke, bro. <laughs> I just, <laughs> but I just wanted to say that. that. And my, like, off rip, I'm, I'm thinking, like, he was just being annoying off the strength of just, like, the rapping. Like, I'm not going to. Nah, nah, nah. I would never. Come I'm, on, I'm not going to act like, you know what I'm saying, Los is like. I'm just, saying, if you were still on the team, who you, you really going to put Los on your team over Pop Smoke? A team? Yeah. A team. I mean, what is the team competing at? Like, like I'm team. confused. Like, what are we judging on? Like, a label, a label. I'm probably gonna pick Pop Smoke first. I'm not gonna lie. Cause just because he's, he's put, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's Pop Smoke gonna bring out the now. money. Yeah, he's bringing out the money. So I'm saying, looking back, Diddy's like, damn, like, I don't but think Diddy the... didn't do nothing for him, bro. Nah, that's a fact. Diddy don't do nothing for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Diddy, yo, that's, yo, that's yo, what Diddy, I, I ain't part of this, man. No, 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 no. Niggas gotta have, bro. Like, how many artists? Have like Diddy always come, came out with an artist for like a year, whatever the case was, and then they just disappeared. Like, nah, I mean, but I'm jacking. They nah, figured I'm out still the, bumping the, day twenty six. Yeah, day twenty six. Yeah, that's a you, fact. But you not, I bumped Danity King too. Do they have not, new music? Did they have a new tape recently? Day exactly. You're thinking hard. That's not. Nah, like, I mean, I mean, they, I feel like he helped. He definitely helped out. They, helped, look, them, look. they helped them. They helped them when they came out. The but after still? that first album or second album came out, niggas is just day twenty. Niggas not talking about day twenty six, bro. Niggas oh, yeah. not talking about Danny. The King. music dies nah, out. Nah, but niggas forget. I, I peep the way, the way that people try to get around Diddy now, like that's been working, is they they just sign like they built they signed their own label underneath Bad Boy. Like what? Like isn't Rick Ross still on like? Like, Bad Boys and the Jeff Jam. So, like, for me, I think he had some type of relationship with Diddy before. That's not true? No. I'm not. I've never heard no relation of, like, Rick Ross and Bad Boy. Really? It's my first time hearing this. Even, I know it was Coke Boys, too. You was trying to say MMG is under Bad Boy, you trying to say? But I know Bad Boys underneath Def Jam. Yeah, it is. So, at the end of the day, it's still, like, for me, it's still under all the same tree. Yeah, but Def Jam could have a lot of people under it. That doesn't mean that something was... Like, I've never heard of Rick Ross's MMG being under Bad Boy. Like, ever. I just be thinking, like, all this shit, for me, it's all Def Jam at the end of the day. Like I mean, everything kind of roots from Def Jam, even just the way you run your company. Like, when I think, label. like... When but, I think of Def Jam, I'd be thinking of Diddy now. Because, like, for me, like, it's not like Bad Boy is doing anything. It's Revolt. <laughs> yeah. True. Revolt is making a lot of money. But thing. so have we settled the debate? Is Pop Smoke better than um, King Rose? He's, he's not he's better. Way more popular. <laughs> Bro, he's that better. He's a better artist. You can say that. He's a better. I, so Yo, I have is it since people depends on what you're looking for then, you, right? It's, it's depending on what you're looking for. But honestly, bro, like Pop Smoke, he he his delivery is cool and all. But let's talk about it, bro. It's real repetitive. It is. It is extremely repetitive. And it's really the beats that he's rapping on and his voice that makes him as hot as he is. Exactly. Like, there's nothing that Pop Smoke has, like, said that's really hot. Like, it's always just the beat. What, nigga? I'm always special packing, never like it. Oh, what, nigga? That shit. I felt that, bro. How you, How you felt that, bro? How you felt that? Ray has never had a gun, bro. How you felt that? Nigga never had a BB gun. 
I de- never had a BB gun. Never. Nigga never had the the, the, the gun got, from the corner store. Nigga never had the pop gun. The pop. <laughs> he, he got nah, quotables. Nah, right. Pop smoke got quotables, but it was nothing, nothing ever crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm it's saying, just, saying yo, bro, you don't have to have bars to have quotables. I don't I'm so saying. I'm saying, like, feel me? He's that a better artist at the end of the day, though. I'm not going to front. Like, Lo- Lowe's got the pen, but that's, like, one dimension. That's it. Like, Oof. it was nothing after that. Okay, okay. Pop Smoke, that got, like, more tools. If this is baseball, he got, like, three tools. I, I didn't understand that reference. I... You know what a 5-2 player is, like, in baseball? Like, nope. I don't. Wow. <laughs> Do you know? Don't you I've have heard a sports th- podcast? <laughs> we do, but I ain't yeah. never heard that term. I've heard it before, but I'm not familiar with like what it really means. All right, I'll tell off cam. I mean, yeah. I could explain it now. No, 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 no. Off, off cam. Yeah, off all right. Cam, yeah, off cam, bro. We got we got time schedule. Keep that shit for off cam. No, 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 no. Keep that shit for off cam. Google yeah, it, Google it, Google, Google it. Google it. Anyway, and I'm trying to discredit our sports podcast. I'm just saying, I thought that how was about a, they, How about they explain phrase. it on the, po- on the podcast next week? That's a common phrase right. amongst people for me. Y'all the only Spanish niggas in here, so I understand why y'all know it. But anyway, we're going to move on. We off topic of music. This this has been a real musicy pod today. I'm not gonna lie to you. So let's get into some actual pop ha! culture. You said the name of the podcast. Let's get into some pop culture. <laughs> um, in the city we live in, a man kidnapped a shorty on a train. Or attempted. Allegedly. 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 Allegedly, allegedly attempted. Kidding. So who wants to be the guy to break down that story and tell the people and have us? I'm, I'm pretty sure react. everybody knows exactly. Break that. it down anyway. <clears throat> you well, break it down, that motherfucker. No, I've been talking a lot. I believe it was Somebody in the Bronx, breaking. right? I believe it was in the Bronx. Soundview. Okay. Avenue. So it was some guy on the train, and it was a couple, I believe, like a a couple in the video. It was Crack a sh- couple. I didn't want to see crack. For me, I don't know. And it, I'm going based off when everyone <laughs> saw the Supposed video. <laughs> Supposedly crack had Allegedly under heavy <laughs> drug use. <laughs> Either way, off first glance, the way everything started was a video went viral of a guy trying to attempt to kidnap a young a young lady on the train who was with her man or father, whoever Alleged. that person was. Um. So when you see the video, if you don't know, like he just took Shorty off the train and sat sat down on the bench and everyone was yelling like, oh, help me, help me. She was yelling, help me, help me. And everyone was like wondering what happened. And then he stood there, looked at everybody. And once people started yelling, oh, call the cops, he dipped. So I don't blame him for dipping once he said that. Either way, I guess they found him because there's another video of him getting jumped. Spanked. Super jumped. Um, And I believe he got arrested mm-hmm. after that, after getting jumped. So, so, yeah, he was having a bad day. So that's day. probably the worst day I could think of. It, Facts. It Either way, so that happened, and then a couple days later, recently, I believe it was yesterday or two days ago. I think it was yesterday. So it was yesterday, a, a video of him explaining it, from his point of view what happened, and according to his point of view, was that Shorty made contact with him first and was saying that the person that she was with was holding her hostage, um, and she needed help. So he was like, "I bet I'm gonna take you off at the next stop." And he said, as soon as he grabbed Shorty, she started yelling and wilding out. And according to him, which he didn't know, Shorty is a whole crackhead uh, lady, grown crackhead lady. I think that's what he said. <laughs> a grown crackhead um, lady. And he, crackhead like, a, lady. he said that he he got released by the precinct because he explained the situation and whatnot. And now he's free. Like, he's on the street now. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm play devil's advocate here like I usually do. You are the devil's advocate. I am. I mean, I don't. I just because look, listen. That's my whole thing. This topic is just gonna stem from this. This topic just stems from this point of view for me. Is that that whole like? I don't mind. I understand the sharing stuff of like trying to spread awareness of everything that's happening in the world. Don't get me wrong, but I just feel like sometimes people are so like they take everything for face value so much. That if there's any misinformation, yeah, they don't question anything. Exactly. If there's any not, misinformation, I agree. We and a mistake on their end, on social media's end, and the people's end, it's not like that mistake is gonna get corrected when everything is clarified. Yeah, and that's one of my biggest issues. I'm glad you brought that up. With like just our culture and our climate today, like nobody does any type of research, bro. Nobody does any research. Like once you see the headline, like that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Is. Like everything is that's so face value. Nobody even reads like the, the article anymore. It's like all right, headline. Guy shot guy for no reason or whatever. But the crazy part is, if I don't share that video, people say I'm a bad person. 
Like people would look at you a type of way because you're not sharing that video. You're not spreading this awareness on whatever topic is at hand. Which I, mean, I feel like anybody who thinks like that is stupid. Yeah, shit. I don't think everybody. Yeah, you no, know, I've gotten that, bro. I'm not going front. Like I've gotten a couple times, like be like, "Oh, you're not going to share the vid, bro." I'm like, "No." Nah. I mean, because that's how I was with the Carol Sanchez thing. Because I was like, "Yo, I'm not sure about this. It looked funny to me, so I didn't share. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say no. You know, hope we find. It. Like I was just like, "Yo, let me wait and see, like what's really going on." Because like there wasn't enough of information for me to, you know, really make a c- clear, concise, you know, opinion. That's the same thing going back to what happened when I told y'all last time we recorded before we lost the audio we at UA when the girls allegedly claimed they yeah. would get racially slurred and all that, got jumped. When they see the video, none of that happened. And we had a whole rally for these women. A rally, Waka Flocka knew about that, like uh, other politicians knew about this, tweeting back and all that. And it was a hoax, bro. And we look foolish as a black community. Imagine look all at a PWI, how all the white people looking at us now. Like, yo, look at these dummies. Like, you feel me? Like, that's why I'm not, I'm very hesitant to support certain things because it's like, yo, you don't know. You dead don't know. Like I said, I, it might sound selfish, but like, unless I know someone firsthand or like I know who that person is, I'm not going to involve myself in that, feel me? Because... Again, I don't know the situation. I don't know the information behind it. I'll, I'll go probably on my way to do the research and stuff like that and then come back to whatever conclusion I come back on my own. But they everything is like they want it right now. They're like, yo, you got to share this right now. We got to find this person right now. And it's like, yo, bro, like, can I get a moment to figure out what's going on? Like, they don't give you no option to figure out what's going on. And again, my whole thing is if there is a mistake, it's not like it gets corrected. Like, feel me? That video went viral, and my whole thing... That's why, like, I don't even know if that guy is lying. Like, feel me? He could be still lying. I don't know. All I know is, now he explained his side of the story. They Like they say, it's two sides to every story. He is explaining his side, but I guarantee you that video is not going to go viral at all. People are going to look... I feel... I, it kind of did. Not to that... Not, not to the level... Stuff. Nah, yeah, of course not, not to... to ex- that's what I'm saying. Like, you see the, you see the double-edged okay. sword. Like, that... Like, that man's reputation... If he is telling the truth, it's ruined for the rest of his life. At least for the rest of the year, like, feel me? Like, he can't go anywhere without be people saying, yo, aren't you that guy type? Like, feel me? And he was actually trying to do a good thing, feel me? Like Allegedly. Allegedly, exactly. But feel me, that's my whole thing about the whole why I shared that guy video. And I'm trying, I'm not advocating for him, but I understand where he's coming from at least. Because, again, like, it's always two sides to a story. Definitely, definitely. I agree. And one side usually, only one side usually gets hurt. Nigga had, but his son was out here calling him like a druggie and all that. Had mad bad word to him, like. And then there was like another video of him in Metro PCS, like singing, just, yeah. just all all the way off. Like, I mean, you yeah, said he has mental problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what his son said too. So, um, for me, shit, we 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 don't know exactly what happened. It was just a whole weird situation. But you do do bring up a good point. Where people can't just they jump to conclusions. Like the masses love just jumping to a conclusion. That cancel culture, son. Yeah, this this shit is trash. That's what I'm saying. It's bro, like and nobody ever gets canceled, bro. Nobody ever <laughs> really gets canceled, bro. If you really cancel to me means just stopping bags, bro. If you're not stopping my bag, am I canceled really? Mm. No. Just because you like a few thousand people write some shit that is it hateful on towards how bad, me. It does. It depends on what what you did and how bad it was. I mean, yeah, there's certain people that have probably gotten real close to being canceled. Yeah, this nigga's life is ruined. Cause his son not fucking with him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's nah, a regular dude. He got up. His, he's a regular dude, you feel me? He's so not like, a regular person. Yeah. I was talking about, like, people that, like, feel me? People Kanye with, done got canceled, like, twice and still came back. Not even coming I mean, back. Kanye not, never going to nah, be canceled, with, though. With, with musicians, bro, all you need to do is uh, come out with a, Drop with some fire, heat. a the only, fire, nah, fire no, uh, album, whatever. The only person that's dead out of here is Dead Kells. I'm not going to front. He's dead out of here. He's out of here now. He's out of here, and he's still not even really canceled. Still, People still playing his music. Nah, and there's still women back I'm still going to step to the name of love. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Uh, Yo, I'm not gonna lie. And it was great <laughs> potting with y'all because we're now canceled. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, I guess that's <laughs> another thing. It's like, what is wrong with that? Like, why can't I bump boy music? Like, that's all it is. Tell me, I can't listen to all Kelly's. Like, I understand. I don't fuck with him as a person, but he's a great musician. I may or may not have listened to Same Girl today. I'm not gonna lie to you, but <laughs> I don't think I haven't listened to R. Kelly in a minute. But that was the first time I heard R. Kelly in a minute. I'm not gonna hold you because I was on that wave. There was one bumping. person that I, I bump R. Kelly every day. That's what I'm saying. It's not like I, I go out my I way don't. to bump him like that. That's what but I'm if I hear him in a party, I'm not about to go to the Listen, DJ. Man, and they like, cancel. Yo, don't play that shit. No, they try to cancel it's my that boy that Michael that. Jackson too. They trying to cancel my boy Michael Jackson too. They always do that. They've been trying. So, but the one person that I actually did like delete his music off my phone was Six Nine. Like I couldn't. 
couldn't just I didn't delete I it off phone, but I, I definitely had some, I, I, I've, I've been skipping it since. Bro. I was just like, 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 nah, let me just get this off my phone. Cause like you talking this talk and then you No, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely still pumped that nigga. Nah, yeah, Ray got a playlist, I got it on my phone, bro. You look like that nigga, that's why bro, because it's the music at the end of the day. That shit bump, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and deny that shit don't bump. But but as as we that's what I'm saying. You gonna say six nine bump and gunner don't bump. Yo, listen nah, to I didn't thing. say that. Yo, why you people making up? Yo, yo, niggas is just making <laughs> up shit on this, this podcast I see. Wow. Quick me, quick me, quick me. I feel like that's a, that's a good way to end this episode. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Huh? <laughs> oh, facts. <laughs> you definitely got to get a new line. We can't use the same line. On a different podcast, but, nigga. Ray guys had had on like a like a like a picture. Yeah, like the whole <laughs> 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 they got the manager. <laughs> but um, I got I got to put my shit like the Harlem niggas, like this. Yeah, 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 bro. Now you gonna crunch now your hat right. though. Now you right. Now you should look mad tall, bro. bro the episode about the end, you do it, do it all that. I mean, we gotta better, figure out better the late end. than ever, I guess. <laughs> Y'all niggas figure it out. I was about to end the episode. And niggas called me out on my. Book. It was afraid of. Nah, I'm, I'm saying we gotta to capitalize off what you said, but I'm jacking. We gotta go get that schoolie. <laughs> That's the way you end it. You gotta get the schoolie. I guess. Or the period is over. This mm-hmm. has been period over. We gotta go back to class. We gotta get a bell. No funny Facts. shit. We gotta get a bell. <laughs> yeah, I'm jacking. We get a bell. Yeah, yeah. this they is gotta the get a bell. We gotta get that EBT shit. That- the 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 Grand Street. It was great. It was the whole Grand Street. Yeah. It was the same thing, right? The boo. boo. <laughs> Yo, that's it. That's it. They can just start saying that shit right now. No. Boo. It's time to go. The niggas that need that official audio. Facts. Man. I'm about to. Yo, we got we got the Grand Street. Man. Facts. We right. have to put the phone in the room real quick. But alright, Joe. We gonna see y'all next week, man. It's the lunch table. Facts. Later's. Suck my.